Yesterday we talked about the second non-metric method, which is the rule-based method. A rule-based classifier is a technique for classifying records using a collection of if-then rules. The left-hand side of the rule is the rule antecedent, and the right-hand side of the rule is the rule consequent. The rule condition is a conjunction of attribute tasks and y is the class label. Here are some examples of classification rules. Rule number one says if blood type is warm and lay eggs is yes, then classified as birds. If taxable income is less than 50k and refund is yes, then classified as no. This slide shows an example with rule-based classifier. Given a, a data set, five rules can be learned from the data. A rule covers an instance x if the attributes of the instance satisfy the condition of the rule. Now with the five rules from the previous slide, and given two test records. The first test record describes a hawk and the second describes a bear. It can be seen that rule R1 covers a hawk. So the hawk is classified as a bird and rule R3 covers the bear. So it is classified as mammal. Now let's talk about rule coverage and accuracy. The coverage of a rule is the fraction of records that satisfy the antecedent of a rule. And the accuracy of a rule is a fraction of covered records that satisfy both the antecedent and the consequent. Given 10 records and the rule, the status is single classified as no. It can be seen that there are four records that have the status of single. So the coverage is 40%. And among four records, only two of them have class no. So the accuracy is 50%. There are two important properties of the rule set generated by the rule-based classifier. Mutually exclusive rules. The rules in the rule set are mutually exclusive if no two rules are triggered by the same record. This is to ensure that every record is covered by at most one rule. Exhaustive rules. A rule set has exhaustive coverage if it accounts for every possible combination of attribute values. And this is to ensure that each record is covered by at least one rule. Rules can be extracted from decision trees. It contains as much information as the tree. And the rules are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. Rules can be simplified with the initial rule that uh, refund is no and status is married, then classified as no. Rule then can be simplified. In the antecedent, we have now just status is married. Rule simplification has some effects. Rules are no longer mutually exclusive. With the rule simplification, a record may trigger more than one rule. There may be two solutions. The first solution is order rule set. In this approach, the rules are ordered in the decreasing order of the priority. A test record is classified by the highest ranked rule that covers the record. This avoids the uh, conflicting decisions predicted 
by multiple rules. The second is unordered rule set using voting schemes. In this approach, the consequent of each rule provides a vote for a particular class. And the records is assigned to the class that have the highest number of votes. The second effect is rules are no longer exhaustive. A record may not trigger any rule. And the solution is to use a default class. Rule ordering can be rule-based ordering or class-based ordering. Rule-based ordering orders the rule based on the quality. This scheme ensures that every test record is classified by the best rule. In class-based ordering, rules that belong to the same class appear together. The ordering among the rules from the same class is not important. Once one of the rules fires, the class will be assigned. In order to build classification rules, there can be direct method and indirect method. The direct method extracts rules directly from data, and the indirect method extracts rules from other classification rules such as decision trees or neural networks. The sequential recovering algorithm is usually used to extract rules directly from data. Here are the basic steps. Step 1. Start from an empty rule. Step 2. Grow a rule using the learn one rule function. Step 3. Remove training records covered by the rule. And step 4. Repeat step 2 and 3 until a stopping criterion is met. More details of the algorithm are given below. This slide shows the illustration of sequential covering. From the original data, the rule with the largest coverage is found with six records, positive uh, records. The records are then extracted. Then the algorithm proceeds to look at another rule that cover four positive records and extract that rule and repeat it again and again. Aspects of sequential covering include rule growing, instance elimination, rule evaluation, stopping criterion, and rule pruning. First, let's talk about rule growing. There are two common strategies, general to specific and specific to general. With the general to specific strategy, an initial rule is created in which the left hand side is an empty set. The algorithm looks at the uh, possible conjuncts to include in the rule antecedent. So though can be refund is no or status is single or divorced or married etc. This conjunct status is married has a high gate accuracy which is 100. You may notice that <coughs> the other conjunct also has the uh, 100 uh, accuracy, 100% accuracy. However, it has lower coverage because there is just one record. So the first conjunct to be included is status is married. With a specific to general strategy, conjuncts are removed 
to cover more uh, records, more positive records. Here are two examples of rule growing in CN2 algorithm. Start from empty conjunct and then add conjuncts that minimize the entropy measure and determine the rule consequent or the label by taking the majority class of instances covered by the rule. In Ripper algorithm, also start from empty rule and add conjuncts that maximize FOIA's information gain measure. After the rule is extracted, the sequential covering algorithm must eliminate all the positive and negative records covered by the rule or otherwise the next rule is identical to the previous rule. Rule evaluation is needed to determine which conjunct should be added or removed during rule growing. Normally, accuracy is an obvious choice. However, you may have the case that a rule have uh, high accuracy but low coverage. Uh, in that case, several approaches can be uh, considered. An evaluation metric that takes into account the rule coverage, for example, Laplace and M estimate. Another is FOIL's information gain or likelihood ratio. Regarding stopping criterion, the gain is computed and if it's not significant, then the new rule is discarded. Regarding rule pruning, it is similar to post pruning of physician tree. In indirect methods, a rule set can be generated from a decision tree. Looking at the decision tree, it can be seen that five rules can be generated. For example, P is no and Q is no, then classify as negative, P is no, and Q is yes, then classify as positive. P is yes, R is no, then classify as positive, etc. This approach is used by the C.5 rules algorithm. First rules are extracted from an unpruned decision tree. For each rule, we consider a simplified rule in which one of the conjuncts uh, is removed. Then the pessimistic error rate for R, the uh, original rule, is compared against all the simplified rules and prune the rule if one of the simplified rule has a lower pessimistic error rate and repeat until the pessimistic error of the rule cannot be improved further. After generating the rule set, the C.5 rules use the class based ordering scheme to order the extracted rules. The rules predicting the same class are grouped together into the same subset. Then the description length of each subset is computed. The class that has the smallest description length is given the highest priority. Advantages of rule-based classifiers include the following. They are as highly expressive as this is in tree and easy to interpret, easy to generate and can classify new instances rapidly. The performance is comparable to this in trees.